Hello everyone, Tina Spalding Trance Channel here again for uh, video four in our Ascension series. Let's see what Jesus has to say to us today. <clears throat> you are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And as you are experiencing um, what are the beginning of some global events that are transpiring on your planet right now, we want you to remember the truth of who you are. You are divine, eternal beings temporarily housed in what seems to be a very, very real body. But you must remember your origins. You must remember what you truly are to be able to weather the vicissitudes and the choppy waves of what is going to be coming your way over the next few months. When you look at the ocean and there is a storm on the surface of the ocean, crashing waves, 50 foot waves, boats getting turned over, foam, at seagulls crying, the howl of the wind, that is the world. When you go 50 feet beneath that, when you go down into yourself, you connect with the stillness of that deep ocean and the storms will not touch you. You can also go above the storms. In the Course in Miracles, we often refer to being above the battleground. Go above the storm clouds and where are you? You are in clear blue skies with the sun shining upon you. These are symbolic physical manifestations of consciousness. We want to remind you that the world is a reflection of consciousness. So beneath, inside, the stormy consciousness of the ego battle is deep quiet. Above the battleground is sunny blue skies, our sunny blue skies. You are on the choppy, stormy waters right now. And the only way you are going to be able to survive is to dive deep or fly above it. Those are your two choices. If you stay in the ego's battleground, which is this horizontal exchange of uh, energy and information, constantly getting information here, getting information there, seeing images here, seeing images there, opinions, opinions, arguments, arguments, you are going to be swamped by the waters of this disturbance. That is what's going to happen to you if you are staying in that realm. Now, it seems to the ego, it seems to that part of you that believes in separation, that believes in death, that believes in punishment, that believes in guilt. You all have this part. You would not be here in 3D if you did not have this belief in war in this belief in murder, in this belief in death. You would simply not be manifested on this earth plane at this time if there was not some aspect of you that was identified with it. If you are not identified with it at all, you are not even engaged in this discussion. You are off somewhere else. We are talking to those of you that are having difficulty. We are talking to those of you that believe in this system this 3D system that in fact is breaking apart. So when you have a structure, a ship that is in this stormy sea, it is going to break apart, especially if it hits the rocks. What are the rocks? We could, we'll say the rocks of truth. What's happening in your society is that there is so much information coming from behind the scenes that never came from behind the scenes before by those that you call whistleblowers. There are warriors, spiritual warriors on the earth plane at this time whose job it is, whose mandate it is, whose karmic uh, intent is to be truth speakers. And they have been working in pharmaceuticals. They have been working in the secret space program. They have been working in governments and they are now being motivated by spirit to come forth, to speak the truth to share their experiences. And that is the information that you are going to be getting more and more and more of this year. However, we do want you to understand 
that the part of you that is identified with the body, the part of you that is materialistic in that sense, the part of you that has taken the bait of this society's marketing programs, that part of you is going to become more and more deeply distressed, more and more deeply confused and more and more in need of help. And that help is going to come from the guidance that you get when you are beneath the waves or above the battleground. You are not going to get it necessarily from within the battleground, although that is where the whistleblowers are going to be sharing their information. It is not, it is not the kind of information that's going to bring you peace. It is the kind of information that is going to destroy your illusions. When the ego's illusions are destroyed, it is a very, very painful process. It is, feels the same as when somebody betrays you, your lover cheats on you, your partner is unfaithful to you, somebody scams you out of money. These are the feelings of the loss of idols. That is what is going to be happening to one degree or another to those of you that are in this horizontal battleground that is going on right now. So what we are doing with these videos is we are attempting to get you preemptively to go deep or to go way above the battleground so that when this information comes out, you are not devastated by it. You are already focused on the non-physical. You are already retraining yourself out of believing everything you see and hear on this horizontal earth plane. This horizontal earth plane is getting a big old shakeup right now. And if you believe in the horizontal too much, you will be getting a big old shakeup too. If you go vertical, and that can be vertical going deep within yourself, vertical going up to source, energy, prayer, meditation, you are out of alignment with that horizontal. You are connecting into the vertical and that source is stable. That source is constant. That source is loving, grounded, grounded into the earth, grounded into Gaia, lifted up, inspirational, creative, spiritual. Horizontal is physical. Vertical is spiritual. You are going to suffer accordingly. This is not a punishment from a vengeful God. This is us telling you that the more you identify with the world these days, the more difficult this is going to be for you. So keep yourself focused on your spiritual nature, your eternal spiritual nature. You were here long before this body came into being and you will be long after you have finished using this body. Get this life in perspective and understand that wisdom does not come from the battleground. Information comes from the battleground, but you are inundated with information right now. There is too much information. Most of it you can't discern whether it is the truth or not. We want you to understand that when you are tuned in vertically, be that deeply within yourself or above the battleground, you will get all the information you need to guide you in making your decisions. After all, that is how you are going to get where it is most beneficial for you is to get guidance that you can hear. You can hear guidance when you are at peace. You cannot hear guidance when you are cowering in the corner in fear of death. That means the ego has you and you are in the horizontal battleground and you will not win that battle. It is unwinnable. That is the battle of death, sickness, corruption, guilt, shame, fear. It is, it, it is eternally playing out in that frequency of 3D, the stormy waters on the surface of the ocean. So if you are superficial on the surface of the ocean, by superficial we mean materialistic, that means you are body identified, money identified, material goods identified, shiny car identified, you are going to be having a hard time. So from now on, if you start to have a hard time, ask yourself, where am I getting my information? What am I doing with my time? What am I looking at? Who am I listening to? 
Go deep within, high above, and you will find peace. And there you will find knowledge, and there you will find guidance. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and I will speak to you again soon. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll point you once again to the description box below this video. Um, I will have the links there for purchasing uh, for you to go and look at. And if you desire to purchase some of my books, um, I'll also have the link to our community there for you to check out what we're offering. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for joining me today. Bye bye.